Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. Today I would like to take you through a workflow using the Infrastructure Design Suite. The goal for today is to take my proposed stormwater pipe network from Autodesk AutoCAD Civil 3D to storm and sanitary analysis for design and then go back to Civil 3D to repopulate the updated design in the model and update the labeling. So let's get started. To give you a bit of background about this project, we have been tasked to design this proposed stormwater pipe network along a design corridor. We have already populated and labeled the pipe network in our roadway profile view, but we still need to verify that the pipe sizing is correct. In this scenario, we will be following the review agency's requirement of three CFS per inlet when we run the design in storm and sanitary analysis. Then we will update our civil 3D model with the design. So let's take a look at the at the project. So you can see here that we've got our proposed sanit or stormwater design um, inside of our roadway corridor, right? And it not only is populated inside of the roadway corridor, but we do have our our pipe running away from the corridor to a daylighting position so that it can drain away from our roadway. We also have our profile populated, um, not with not all of the piping, but with everything that's in the roadway and then you can see that I've got my pipe in the the last inlet before it starts to turn and run off site here. So as it sits everything is labeled up the way that I want it to be so now I've got to take it through design so I need to bring it into storm and sanitary analysis to do that design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just a, any piece of my pipe network. So I select one of the pipes and I'm going to go up into my ribbon and select edit in storm and sanitary analysis. I'll pick my pipe network and hit OK. What it's going to do is it's going to open up storm and sanitary analysis and then we're going to create a, a new project. I'll just hit OK. It will finish up the import which does take just a second. and we can start with our design. So you can see it brought in all of our plan view and our profile. These are static objects, but we do have all of our infra or all of our pipe network in so that we can start adding our flows. So as stated before, we're going to use 3 CFS per inlet. So what we need to do is we need to add that known flow to each one of our structures. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to double click on my first junction. So we will be adding them to this set, of junk, uh, this set of inlets here and the road crossing inlets and then once it starts to go off site we will leave these alone. We will just treat this as a junction as if it doesn't have any flow going to it. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on my junction. I'm going to give it an external flow of 3 CFS and we could click on each one individually to do this and we'd be able to add that external flow or we can select them from our menu here at the bottom or our grid view and we can add them in one dialog. So I'll just click down through and add these in. 3 CFS for our baseline flows. Notice that whenever I select the structure it highlights here in the model. So if I select this structure and it highlights, I know I don't have a flow for that, so I would continue on. So structure two, we do have a flow. So I'm going to add my three CFS. I'll pick structure 12 and notice that that is the one I don't want to add flow to. So I'll go ahead and scroll down. I see there's still some structures I haven't added flow to. So I will add the flows. Again, these are external flows as if they're known flows. This should be the last structure that we have to add or add flow to. And I'll hit OK and close. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to tell it in my uh, tell storm sanitary analysis in my analysis options a start and end date for the analysis. So I'm just going to use a day. So we started at 8.20, we'll end it at 8.21. I'm going to go up and select Perform Analysis. 
it runs my analysis, and it highlights where I'm deficient. So if you remember from Civil 3D, all of the pipes were 18 inch, or 18 inch concrete. So I can see that my two runs here of pipe are too small, or there's a problem with them. So I'll double click on that conveyance link and it tells me that I'm in a surcharge condition. So this means we either need to adjust some inverts so that the pipe will carry additional flow, or we need to just upsize the pipes. A good way to see this also is to go to the output tab or output pull down and select profile plot. Then I can select my upstream inlet and just pick my outlet and it'll select and run through the pipes connecting to the outlet. And I can show my plot. And as we can see, my, my max HGL is getting out of my inlet here at, at structure ID number four. And it's, it's out here also at three. So we can do a couple things to fix this. Um, today we're just going to upsize the pipes and, and rerun it and see if we can carry our flow. So I'm going to simply double click on my conveyance link or my pipe and I'm going to change the diameter to a 24 inch diameter and hit close. Same thing here, I'm going to go ahead and change the next downstream pipe to 24 because it's also in a surcharge condition. Now once I've changed those pipe sizes, I need to go back and rerun the analysis to make sure that my flow is being carried correctly. So I'm going to reperform the analysis and hit OK. And I don't get any warnings this time. I still like to go back and, and check and see where I'm at um, storage wise inside the pipe. So I'm going to double click on that first pipe we were having problems with and I can see that my design flow capacity is 20.86 CFS my peak flow during analysis is 12.74. So I'm good to go on this pipe. Now I'll just double check the second one. Same thing. Design flow capacity is 24.47 and my peak flow is 18.37. So once I'm happy with the way that things are designed and I'm ready to push this back to Civil 3D, I'll just save the file and we will save it. It's the same model and I will just call this uh, finished design. Once the model is saved, then I could go back to file, drop down to export and export a Hydroflow storm sewers file. This is a .stm file. This is the file that we will import back into Civil 3D to update our current uh, update our model to the current design. So I'll go ahead and just call this design one and hit save. And it exports everything out exactly as I have it designed inside of Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis. So let's jump back over to Civil 3D and import the file back into Civil 3D and repopulate our model. Now that we're back in, in AutoCAD Civil 3D, we will zoom into the profile and show that it still reflects the old design, okay, or the preliminary design. The pipes that are in question are these two pipes right here. They're still 18 inch RCPs. Okay, notice that the labels and everything are set up exactly the way I want, so it'd be nice to be able just to import, a, import the design and have it update the profile automatically. So let's do just that. We're going to go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and we will select Storm Sewers. I'm going to go out and I'm going to select the design1.stm file that I exported out of uh, Storm and Sanitary Analysis. I'll hit Open, and it asks me if I want to update the existing pipe network or create a new pipe network. I'm going to update my existing one, and I'll, I'll zoom into the profile first you can see that it has taken on the characteristics of what our design was in storm and sanitary analysis. It's not only showed it physically for the pipes, but it's shown it for the labels. It's actually updated the labels. So we can zoom back and look at the plan view, and we can see that the structures are represented exactly the way they were before. 
All right, so it updated everything, but it didn't change all of my structures so that I have to swap parts and things of that nature. So I'm just going to pick one of the one of the pipes, and we'll look at the pipe properties. And in the pipe properties, you'll see again that it is set to 24-inch concrete pipe, and that came straight from storm and sanitary analysis. So as you can see, in 10 to 15 minutes, you're able to take a preliminary design for a stormwater pipe network in Autodesk, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, bring it into SSA or storm and sanitary analysis for design, and then update the Civil 3D model with the appropriate design. I thank you for your time today and hope that you enjoyed the presentation.